What is up, guys, and welcome to another episode of Journey into Wild. Today's deck is called Dragon Caster Mage. This is a Gen Grey Main Mage deck, which we've done in the past a couple times, but I figured it would be a good time to revisit it because one of the new dragons, namely Azure Explorer, fits right into the deck. This deck rests on three big pillars. Number one, we are a hero power centric deck. In a lot of the games, we try to finish with a Coldera Drake combo. So a lot of the, the uh, hero power stuff costs two mana, whether it's Fallen Hero, Garrison Commander, Ice Walker, or Spirit of the Dragonhawk. What these cards generally do is give us a turn three play, where normally in a Gen deck, we can't have a three cost card. So whether it's playing Fallen Hero, pinging something down, playing Ice Walker, freezing something, or playing Spirit of the Dragonhawk and pinging over a couple turns, Again, these two mana plays all of a sudden turn into three mana plays because we are Gen. The second big theme for this deck is discovering and generating cards into our hand, and a couple of the two drops do that as well, both Nether Spite Historian and Fire Tree Witch Doctor. The new card, Azure Explorer, is both a dragon and a discover card, and what do we do with all these discovered cards? Well, we're going to make them cheaper with Leyline Manipulator, and then we're going to look for opportunities to kind of go off with Echo of Medivh, to copy all the things on the board. If you ever copy a, a ley line on the board with the Echo, you the generated ley line can then be played to discount all the cards that you played previously. So it's pretty sweet, and you can get some nice synergy there. If you ever discover Coldera Drake, watch for opportunities to make it almost cost zero, and then try to have a combo win with a uh, low costed Coldera Drake into a Fallen Hero combo. So, right, you play them both. And you ping your opponent over and over and over until they die. The last big thing for the deck is, of course, dragons. We're playing the new Azure Explorer, as I mentioned. Also, the new Dragon Caster card, while not a dragon, does give us a, a zero mana power of creation. And then when you do discover with power of creation, watch for opportunities to discover Cold Air Drake to kind of go off from there. We're also playing both Cindergosa and Calicos. These generally act as our sort of dragon in the hand cards, but Cindergosa has some nice opportunities to combo with something like Leyline Manipulator. We are playing two copies of Mountain Giant. These can get pretty cheap because the early plays generally replace themselves. And anytime you Echo Medivh, you can fill your hand up really big. But the main reason we're playing Mountain Giant is because we're playing the nerfed Conjurer's Calling. That's right. The four mana Conjurer's Calling is still a good card and now fits into a Gen deck. So that's pretty much it for the deck. Look for opportunities to go off with Leyline Manipulator and Echo Medivh. Look for opportunities to try to win with a cheap Caldera Drake. Not going to be as good as a Reno deck in Wild, not going to be as good as a Circuit Mage deck in Wild as well, but it's definitely a more fun deck to play. So I hope you guys try it out. As always, going to leave you with some gameplay. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. The extended video will be online. I will see you guys next time. You asked for it. All right, so we have a dragon. <laughs> we'll keep the dragon. We have a mountain giant this time. Maybe we keep the mountain giant and look for value cards, right? That kind of makes sense. We might need this against, like, aggro. I don't know if we can beat aggro, honestly. Alright. Got one of the replace cards. We have turned our curse into our strength. Look at that. We gotta play. <laughs> we gotta play the one mana ping. Historian versus Witch Doctor. This one hits harder. I mean, the damage adds up. I, see a vision in display. I mean, this is a card we could definitely look at because we're playing Dragoncaster. Um, this is a face card, though, which might help us burn, some, burn him out. He's going to get so much armor, maybe we don't worry about that. I actually think we take the puzzle box here. Now this one here is pretty good against the uh, if he Vargas real early or something, but it doesn't kill Vargas. This is too much fun not to take, right? Like, who are we kidding? We might need that. Like, if he, yeah, because this actually this. Whoops, well, we had the flame cannon. But now we now we have that. Alright. Once upon a time. Cindergosa, yeah, that's fun. This is a five drop, which we can't play because we're even. But um He 
He might be a mill deck, actually. So, cards like this, um, I don't think we're going to need this, right? I think we just take the cheap thing. And uh, we'll go ahead and work on the... Uh, the guy. No, because we have we have Mountain Giant next turn. If he if he naturalizes my Mountain Giant, I, do, I don't want to waste damage, though. So we'll ping it, at least. Like, it's fine if he makes that hit. I won't do it for him, though. Yeah, if he's got naturalized, we we kind of get fucked here. I mean, to be fair, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this here, so who knows what'll happen? Oh yeah, poison seeds another card to worry about. Um, so if we go giant Condor's calling, he's definitely playing like he's got a poison seed. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's just the deck, right? So we can kill that Condor's calling. Force him to seed. And then we can start doing crazy stuff with that. We oh, actually can kill both of them, huh? We could copy everything. Coin so we have room. There's no room, actually. I really kind of need to copy these because... Um, yeah, let's just have to do this. Because, like... The nice thing about if he seeds, I still have 8 damage on the board, I guess. <laughs> right? You know what? These might be just scary enough to threaten him. Maybe we, like, we don't have to do this, right? Because this gets around um, Spreading Plague, technically. I can ping him seven times. You just play another one, ping him once. Fire this off. Could fire this off, actually. We're missing we're missing the leyline manipulator to kinda of really go off, right? What to do? What to do? I think we make him have another um poison seed here. Coin that out for poison seed value. Well, that's pretty good too, right? Because we're getting close to killing him. This kills Vargoth. I already have an Echo, so I don't think we need a second Echo. Hopefully don't regret that in this, uh, this is a long, drawn-out game. We got ping versus. I think looking back, I should have hit one, hit the three four, and then ping that one. That wouldn't let me do this kind of stuff. We could play this thing actually. I wonder. I mean, I could still ping him with the <laughs> anyway. Now he can do the plague or the seed combo where he, he seeds into um what do you call it? Alright, do we win here? We definitely win with Fallen Hero, right? With Fallen Hero I could just hit him in the face seven times. Ice Walker. We might still win, right? Because he, he gains four and then we have eight plus it's very close. Got 
Oh, it's way lethal. It's way lethal. It's not close. I thought we were going to be short, but apparently not. What is up, guys? Thanks for making it to the end of the video. You've gone this far. Help the channel out. Go a little bit further. Like the video. Comment below. And if you haven't already, of course, you need to subscribe to the channel. The extended gameplay video will be up tomorrow. I'll make sure to link it here once it is online. I'll see you guys next time.